Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to the Happy Medic Workshop. We are here to talk about the Rip Shears holster from our good friends at uh, IsraeliFirstAid.com. Now, this was the original product I asked them to send me, guys. This is the Rip Shear Scissor Cutter. A lot of you guys have seen this. We've had these around for quite a while, about a decade now. I carry one of these everywhere I go. I've got two sets at work. This is the Rip Shear device. You'll see that it screws on to a standard pair of shears that you can get from any of your suppliers. But this is great, guys, because of this molded case. A lot of people were concerned that this blade in here, Justin, I'm going to get my finger stick. Now, my, my five-year-old at the time, uh, her finger couldn't get stuck in there. This is uh, a lot better than most of the cutters that are out there, guys. You'll see those big orange ones that you can drag around in a car wreck scene. Uh, they're big, they're bulky, they don't fit on your belt. You gotta put them in one of your pockets, uh, and there's a lot of issues with it. With this special molded case that the folks at IsraeliFirstAid.com sent me, you can actually see that this is gonna fit your rip shears perfectly. You're gonna be able to slide them right in, click, and look, that blade goes away. Now everybody at work isn't worried about cutting their pants, cutting their shirt, uh, or anything else while they're deploying it. It also keeps the bottom nice and snug so it's not coming off your belt. And it's got the nice hard belt loop here. You know a lot of the soft ones, the stitching's gonna come off. I like this because it's hard and it's molded. This is a wonderful case. However, a lot of people still don't trust the rip shears. Why not? Well, a lot of people think it's just a seat belt cutter for cutting uh, very thin fabrics. Well, one of the thickest fabrics I know of is turnout material. And I've done this demo a, a number of times for folks at work. Uh, this is an old pair of turnout pants from an old, old job uh, they gave me they were gonna throw out. I said, hey, I could use those as a demo, okay? A lot of times we're gonna need to be able to get these turnouts if we have a firefighter down uh, and injured, the medics are gonna need to get these turnouts off and we're gonna need to get to the injured uh, parts of the body, right? Rip shears are gonna be able to do that for you. What you're gonna need to do is start a purchase point just like any other cut, okay? Next, you're gonna use the blade, put it in the cut, get your leverage, and pull. Just like that, guys. Comes off easy, no problem. What about the thermal heat barrier? Same thing. Get a purchase, and there you go. Super easy to cut, guys. This is a great product. I love the rip shears. I love the rip shear holster that is really firstaid.com has available. This is really good equipment, guys. And look, you just pull the threads out and you're right back on duty. If for some reason the shears are damaged or uh, if some of your EMTs like mine get a little overzealous and decide to uh, throw the shears uh, at the accident scene, you just get another set of your rip shears and put them on the shears that they send you from work. Uh, again, guys, because it's a standard issue shear, going to fit right in that holster. So thanks again, IsraeliFirstAid.com. Make sure you guys get over there, get you a rip shear holster. I love this product. Until next time, this is Justin, the Happy Medic, saying cheers.